So I'm here with Reed Harrington. He's the closer for the Spokane Community College uh, baseball team. And, and Reed, right off the bat, you know, the NWAC championship is about to start, and you guys were in the tournament last year. But, you know, this year, what things do you hope to, to experience? What things do you hope to accomplish this year as you come into the tournament? Uh, coming into the tournament, I mean, we're still hungry from last year. We, we placed third last year, and, I mean, obviously that's not good enough for us. So we want to come out here with a championship title and kind of make history of the program. So that's our main goal. I mean, us sophomores, that's been our goal since we came in last year. And, be kind of cool to do it with this group of guys and kind of leave a legacy at the school, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, you know, first Spokane, you know, you're, you're from Boise. Mm -hmm. So what was it about the Spokane Community College program that really uh, pulled you and drew you into the, to, to commit there? Uh, first of all, I came for my visit and I really like the coaches. I mean, I just got a good vibe from them. They're, they're all great guys. And that was an important factor for me when I was deciding on where to go. I wanted to go somewhere I knew I'd have fun playing and I'd get along with the coaches and they'd kind of work with me. And, I mean, it's worked out great. And uh, I also had friends coming in here from high school, which which helped with the decision making. But yeah, I'm definitely glad I chose one and I don't regret it at all. It's been an awesome two years. And then, you know, you know, you are finishing up your time here at Spokane, but uh, you're committed to play at Boise State. And you mentioned to me that's where you're from. And yep. you actually have a, a teammate here at Spokane who also was your teammate in high school. Um, so what things are, are you excited about with that Boise State program, which is a you know, brand-new program? Yeah. What things are you really uh, looking at and really kind of getting um, just pumped up about? Uh, once again, I'm excited to work with those coaches. I mean, I've played for Gary before, and I love playing for him, so I'm excited to get the opportunity to do it again. And, um, kind of be a part of the building of the program so I mean we get the opportunity to get it up and running and kind of set the tone for later years and, yeah I'm, I'm excited for that it's also nice you know playing in front of your hometown yeah, exactly. family doesn't have to move, drive as far to visit you yeah, and yeah. see that type of stuff so you know also growing up you know a lot of young players will look at you know professional athletes and kind of say you know I, I love their style I love their attitude mm -hmm. is there a player that you looked at and said you know I, that's the player I kind of want to mimic or is there just a team that you follow um, well growing up I was a Yankees fan because I'm from the East Coast so um, Derek Jeter is always my favorite player just because I mean in my eyes he was the best and I respected how he played the game and how he carried himself on and off the field um, yeah so I kind of just always looked up to him and kind of tried to carry myself like that and then, you know, also growing up, a lot of players, you know, you don't get to college by accident. You have to work hard. And who in your life has kind of that, been that motivator, that inspiration, that person who tells you to, to keep trying, keep working hard to really get you to where you're at? Uh, definitely my parents. I mean, they've always been there even when I don't want to keep going. They're always pushing me to go the extra mile and keep putting in the work and keep pushing me to, I mean, follow through with whatever it is I'm doing has been a huge factor in my life and my baseball career. And then for you, being a closer, you know, starting pitchers, they, they know how how long they have till the game starts. They have the, they can do their whole routine. But for you, it's, it's different. It's kind of when you're told to get up, that's when you yeah. get up. And so what things do you really focus on as you're warming up? And do you have a, do you try and have a certain routine when you are warming up? Uh, I, I try to have a routine, but, I mean, sometimes I can have 30 minutes to warm up, and sometimes I have three minutes. So it's, it's hard sometimes, but... Um, I do have a short routine. I can, I'm lucky because I have the ability to get ready, get hot, get my arm going in less than five minutes, which is really useful as a closer. I mean, yeah. you never know when you have to go in, but I mean, it's important for me to stay locked into the game throughout the whole game, even though I most likely won't come in until the end, but I always just have to be ready to jump in at any time. So, yeah. And the last question I have for you, you know, you have a lot of, you know, wherever you go and wherever you play, there's always kids watching the games and, yeah. and, and dreaming, you know, of that college dream, that major league team, baseball dream. What advice would you have for those kids that just want to make it to the next level and, and play their best? Uh, I mean, my mindset always has been, I mean, hard work directly translates to your success. So, I mean, if you want to put up good results, you want to be a good player, you have to put in the hard work. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.